The sun rises over a sea of terracotta rooftops, bathing ancient temples and towering skyscrapers in a warm golden light. This is Japan, a land of contrasts where the ultra-modern dances with the timeless. But beyond the neon lights of Tokyo and the bustling streets of Kyoto lie secret cities, hidden gems waiting to be discovered. Join me as we uncover these secret cities of Japan that no one talks about, places where tradition thrives and nature mesmerizes. Today we're exploring the hidden attractions of Okayama and Takamatsu, two cities on the tranquil Seto Inland Sea, each with a story to tell and a magic to share. Our first stop takes us to Okayama, a city steeped in history and renowned for its exquisite gardens. Stepping into Korakuen Garden is like stepping into a living, breathing work of art. Designed in the Edo period, this landscape garden is a masterpiece of harmony and balance, a symphony of nature meticulously crafted over centuries. We stroll along meandering streams, their surfaces like polished mirrors reflecting the vibrant hues of maple and cherry trees, koi carp, their scales shimmering like jewels glide beneath arched bridges, while in the distance, the majestic Okayama Castle rises against the skyline, a silent guardian of this tranquil oasis. Take a moment to breathe in the serenity of this special place. Listen to the gentle rustling of leaves, the soothing melody of the flowing water. Let the beauty of Korakuen wash over you, a reminder of the enduring power and artistry found in nature. Look closely and you'll discover hidden grottos, each one a miniature world of its own. Stone lanterns, weathered by time, stand sentinel along the pathways, their soft glow inviting contemplation and reflection. Korakuen Garden is a place to lose yourself in the beauty of the moment, to reconnect with the rhythms of nature, and to simply be. Before we move on, let's take a seat in the tea house overlooking the garden. As we sip our steaming cups of matcha, let's savour the flavours of Japan and the tranquility that surrounds us in this timeless paradise. Our journey now takes us from the serene beauty of Korakuen Garden to the imposing grandeur of Okayama Castle, affectionately known as the Crow Castle for its distinctive black exterior. As we approach its towering walls, one can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. This is a castle that has witnessed centuries of history, its dark walls whispering tales of samurai battles and feudal intrigue. We climb the steep steps, each one taking us further back in time until we reach the top floor, where a panoramic view of Okayama unfolds before us like a magnificent tapestry. From our vantage point, we can see the sprawling city below the tranquil waters of the Asahi River meandering through its heart and in the distance the verdant expanse of Korakuen Garden. It's breathtaking to imagine the lives that have unfolded within these walls, the stories these ancient stones could tell. Inside the castle, we delve deeper into its history, exploring exhibits showcasing samurai armor, intricate swords and artifacts from the Edo period. We learn about the castle's strategic importance, its role in shaping the region's destiny and the lives of the people who lived and worked within its walls. Before we leave this majestic fortress, let's take a moment to appreciate its architectural splendor, the elegant curves of its roof, the intricate details of its wooden beams, the imposing presence of its watchtowers, all testament to the skill and artistry of its builders. Okayama Castle is more than just a historical monument, it's a symbol of Japan's rich cultural heritage and a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. But leaving the grandeur of Okayama Castle behind, we venture deeper into Okayama Prefecture. Our destination, Kibitsu Shrine, a place where history and mythology intertwine. As we approach the shrine, we're greeted by a long, covered corridor. Its vibrant red pillars are striking contrast to the lush greenery that surrounds us. This is no ordinary walkway. This is the Kibitsu Shrine Corridor, the longest wooden structure of its kind in Japan. As we stroll along its length, we can't help but feel a sense of anticipation, a sense that we're entering a place of ancient power and legend. Kibitsu Shrine is dedicated to the deity Kibitsu Hiko no Mikoto, a legendary prince credited with ridding this region of a fearsome demon. The shrine's architecture, with its sweeping roofs and intricate carvings, reflects the influence of both Shinto and Buddhist traditions, a testament to Japan's rich spiritual heritage. 
We wander through the shrine grounds, marveling at the serene beauty of the ponds, the vibrant colors of the prayer flags fluttering in the breeze, and the ancient trees that stand as silent witnesses to centuries of history. We learn about the legend of Kibitsuhiko no Mikoto and the demon he vanquished, a tale passed down through generations that continues to captivate visitors to this day. But Kibitsu Shrine is more than just a place of legend, it's a place of peace and tranquility, where visitors come to pay their respects, offer prayers, and find solace amidst the beauty of nature. As we leave the shrine, we carry with us a sense of awe and inspiration, our spirits renewed by the timeless beauty and spiritual significance of this remarkable place. Prepare to be transported back in time as we enter the enchanting Kurashiki Bikan historical quarter, a beautifully preserved slice of Edo-era Japan. Here, willow-lined canals reflect the elegance of traditional white-walled storehouses, their black tile roofs standing as a testament to a bygone era. We board a traditional wooden boat, its gentle rocking a soothing lullaby as we glide through the tranquil canals, the gentle lapping of water against the hull, the rhythmic dipping of the oars and the soft murmur of conversation create a mesmerizing symphony that transports us back to a simpler time. As we journey through this picturesque district, we're captivated by the beauty of the traditional architecture. The storehouses once used to store rice and other goods have been transformed into charming boutiques, art galleries and cafes. Their interiors are a delightful mix of old and new. Take a moment to admire the intricate details of the buildings, the delicate latticework on the windows, the ornate carvings on the doors, the weathered stone bridges that span the canals. These are the marks of master craftsmen, their skills passed down through generations, preserving the beauty and heritage of this remarkable place. We disembark our boat and wander through the narrow streets, stopping to browse in antique shops, admire the artistry of local craftspeople, and savor the flavors of traditional Japanese sweets. The air is filled with the scent of incense and freshly brewed tea, creating an ambience that's both nostalgic and invigorating. Prepare to enter a world of delicate beauty and romantic nostalgia as we step into the Yumeji Art Museum, a tribute to the life and work of Takahisa Yumeji, a renowned artist of the early 20th century. Yumeji, known for his distinctive style characterized by graceful lines, vibrant colors, and a touch of melancholy, captured the essence of a bygone era, a time of romanticism and longing. As we wander through the museum's galleries, we're greeted by a world of beautiful women, their haunting eyes gazing out from the canvases. Yumeji's art is a celebration of feminine beauty, capturing the elegance and grace of the women of his time. Look closely at the details, the intricate patterns of their kimonos, the delicate blush on their cheeks, the longing in their eyes. Yumeji's women are not just objects of beauty, they are complex individuals, each with her own story to tell. We learn about Yumeji's life, his loves, his losses, and the influences that shaped his art. We discover his fascination with the fleeting nature of beauty, his nostalgia for a bygone era, and his deep connection to Japanese culture and aesthetics. The museum itself is a work of art, its architecture blending seamlessly with Yumeji's paintings, creating an immersive experience that transports us back to early 20th century Japan. The use of light and shadow, the interplay of colors and textures, the serene atmosphere, all contribute to a sense of tranquility and contemplation. Before we leave this enchanting museum, let's take a moment to reflect on the power of art to transport us to different times and places, to evoke emotions, and to connect us to the beauty that surrounds us. Yumiji's art is a testament to the enduring power of creativity and the timeless allure of beauty. Today we embark on a journey to Inujima Island, a place where art transcends the confines of galleries and museums, embracing the natural landscape as its canvas. As our ferry approaches the island, we're greeted by a sight that's both intriguing and unexpected. Emerging from the lush greenery, we spot shimmering structures, their metallic surfaces reflecting the sunlight, a stark contrast to the island's natural beauty. This is the Inujima Serensho Art Museum, a testament to the harmonious coexistence of art and nature. We disembark and set foot on this island, its tranquility palpable. The air is fresh, carrying with it the scent of the sea and the sweet aroma of pine trees. 
We follow a winding path, the sound of our footsteps, the only interruption to the symphony of birdsong. The Inujima Serensho Art Museum is not a museum in the traditional sense, it's an experience, a journey through art installations that are seamlessly integrated into the island's landscape. We wander through abandoned industrial ruins now transformed into captivating art spaces where light, shadow and natural elements play a pivotal role in shaping the visitor's experience. Each installation tells a story, a reflection on the island's history, its connection to nature and the delicate balance between humanity and the environment we encounter sculptures that seem to grow organically from the earth, installations that harness the power of light and wind, and spaces that invite contemplation and reflection. Inujima Island is a testament to the power of art to transform, to inspire, and to connect us more deeply to the world around us. As we leave this magical island, we carry with us a renewed appreciation for the beauty of nature and the boundless possibilities of human creativity. We now venture to Takamatsu, a city on the island of Shikoku, known for its maritime history and its breathtaking gardens. Our first stop in Takamatsu is Ritsurin Garden, considered one of the most beautiful gardens in all of Japan. As we enter, we're greeted by a symphony of vibrant colors, the sweet scent of blossoms and the tranquil sound of flowing water. Ritsurin Garden is a masterpiece of Japanese landscape design, a harmonious blend of man-made beauty and natural splendor, we stroll along winding paths, each turn revealing a new vista, a different perspective on this captivating garden. We marvel at the meticulously manicured pine trees, their branches sculpted into fantastical shapes over centuries. We pause by tranquil ponds, their surfaces like mirrors, reflecting the azure sky and the vibrant hues of maple and cherry trees. We cross arched bridges, their graceful curves adding to the garden's artistic composition. Ritsurin Garden is a place of peace and tranquility, a sanctuary from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. We take a moment to sit by the water's edge, listening to the gentle rustling of leaves and the melodic chirping of birds. The air is filled with the scent of pine needles and damp earth, a sensory experience that soothes the soul. As we explore further, we discover hidden grottos, bamboo forests and traditional tea houses, each offering a different perspective on the garden's beauty. Ritsurin Garden is a place to get lost in the moment, to reconnect with nature and to appreciate the artistry of Japanese landscape design. Before we leave this enchanting garden, let's take a moment to reflect on the beauty that surrounds us, the tranquility that envelops us, and the enduring power of nature to inspire and rejuvenate. Our journey through Takamatsu takes us now to the ruins of Takamatsu Castle, a poignant reminder of the city's rich history. Unlike the imposing black walls of Okayama Castle, Takamatsu Castle, once a formidable fortress, now stands in elegant ruin, its weathered stone walls whispering tales of a bygone era. What sets Takamatsu Castle apart is its unique location. Built on a promontory jutting out into the Seto Inland Sea, the castle was once a strategic stronghold, its walls offering commanding views of the surrounding waters. Today, those same views captivate visitors, offering breathtaking panoramas of the Seto Inland Sea's sparkling waters, dotted with islands and bathed in the warm glow of the setting sun. We wander through the castle grounds, our imaginations running wild as we picture the lives that unfolded within these walls centuries ago. We envision samurai warriors patrolling the ramparts, keeping watch over the sea lanes, their armor glinting in the sunlight. Although much of the original structure is gone, the remaining walls and turrets offer a glimpse into the castle's former grandeur. We explore the castle's foundations, marvel at the ingenuity of its construction, and learn about its role in shaping the region's history. Takamatsu Castle may be in ruins, but its spirit lives on, a testament to the enduring power of history and the importance of preserving our cultural heritage. As we stand on the castle grounds, gazing out at the timeless beauty of the Sito Inland Sea, we can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder at the stories these ancient stones could tell. Prepare to be captivated by breathtaking panoramic views as we ascend Mount Yashima, a plateau rising dramatically from the Seto Inland Sea. 
Yashima is steeped in history and legend, its slopes having witnessed a pivotal battle in the 12th century that shaped the course of Japan's history. We board the Yashima driveway, a winding road that takes us to the summit. As we ascend, the scenery unfolds before us like a scroll painting, each turn revealing a new vista, a different perspective on the beauty of the Seto Inland Sea. At the summit, we're greeted by breathtaking panoramic views. The Seto Inland Sea stretches out before us, its blue waters sparkling under the sun, dotted with islands of all shapes and sizes. We can see the sprawling city of Takamatsu below, its buildings dwarfed by the vastness of the sea. Yashima is home to several historical and cultural treasures. We visit the Yashimaji Temple, one of the 88 temples on the Shikoku pilgrimage, a sacred site that has attracted pilgrims for centuries. We admire the temple's architecture, its intricate carvings and vibrant colors, and learn about its significance in Japanese Buddhism. We also explore the Yashima Battle Museum, which commemorates the historic Battle of Yashima, fought on these slopes in 1185 through exhibits and dioramas. We learn about the samurai warriors who clashed here, their bravery and their sacrifices, and the impact this battle had on the course of Japanese history. Yashima is a place of both natural beauty and historical significance, a place where visitors can connect with Japan's past while enjoying breathtaking views of the Seto Inland Sea. As we descend Mount Yashima, we carry with us memories of stunning landscapes, captivating history, and the tranquility of this mountaintop retreat. Prepare to step back in time as we enter Shikoku Mura, an open-air museum that preserves the architectural heritage of Shikoku, the smallest of Japan's four main islands. Here, amidst the tranquil beauty of a wooded landscape, traditional houses, workshops, and even a kabuki theater have been carefully relocated and reconstructed, creating a captivating glimpse into Japan's rural past. As we wander through the village, it's as if we've stepped back in time. We encounter thatched roof farmhouses, their wooden beams weathered by years of sun and rain. We peek inside traditional workshops where skilled artisans once practiced their crafts, their tools and materials seemingly untouched by time. We cross a traditional covered bridge, its wooden structure a testament to the ingenuity of Japanese carpentry. We pause by a watermill, its wheels slowly turning, powered by the flow of a nearby stream, a reminder of a time when life moved at a slower, more deliberate pace. Shikoku Mura is not just a collection of buildings, it's a living, breathing testament to a way of life that's fast disappearing. We encounter costumed guides who demonstrate traditional crafts, sharing their knowledge and skills with visitors. We learn about the lives of the people who once inhabited these structures, their daily routines, their customs, and their beliefs. We gain a deeper understanding of the connection between people and their environment, a connection that's often lost in our modern world. Shikoku Mura is a place of both nostalgia and inspiration, a reminder of the beauty and simplicity of traditional Japanese life. As we leave this enchanting village, we carry with us a renewed appreciation for the importance of preserving our cultural heritage and the lessons we can learn from the past. Prepare to enter a world where art knows no bounds as we journey to Naoshima Island, a place where contemporary art has transformed a once sleepy fishing village into a world-renowned art destination. As our ferry approaches the island, we're greeted by a sight that's both whimsical and intriguing. Standing on a pier seemingly growing out of the water is a giant yellow pumpkin, its whimsical smile welcoming visitors to Naoshima. This iconic sculpture, the work of renowned artist Yayoi Kusama, is just a taste of the artistic treasures that await us on this island. We disembark and set foot on Naoshima, the air alive with a sense of creativity and anticipation. Everywhere we look, art is integrated into the landscape, transforming everyday spaces into captivating encounters with creativity. We visit the Baness House Museum, a unique institution that seamlessly blends art, architecture and nature. Here, we wander through galleries showcasing works by renowned contemporary artists, the building itself a work of art, its design blurring the boundaries between indoors and outdoors. We explore the Art House Project, where abandoned houses and buildings in traditional villages have been transformed into site-specific art installations. 
Each house offers a unique experience, a dialogue between art, architecture and the island's history. Naoshima is a testament to the transformative power of art, its ability to revitalize communities, inspire creativity and connect people from all walks of life. As we leave this island, we carry with us a renewed appreciation for the boundless possibilities of art and its ability to challenge, inspire and transform our perspectives. Our exploration of Takamatsu's contrasting facets takes us now to the Takamatsu Symbol Tower, a gleaming beacon of modernity that stands in stark contrast to the historical treasures we've encountered. This towering structure with its sleek lines and futuristic design dominates the city's skyline, a symbol of Takamatsu's emergence as a modern metropolis. We ascend to the tower's observation deck, our anticipation building with each passing floor. As we step out onto the observation deck, we're greeted by breathtaking panoramic views that encompass the entirety of Takamatsu and beyond. From our vantage point, the city unfolds before us like a map. We can trace the meandering course of the Sumida River as it winds its way through the city, its waters reflecting the blue of the sky. We spot landmarks we've visited, now dwarfed by the distance, their significance etched in our memories. Looking beyond the city, our gaze stretches out to the Seto Inland Sea, its waters sparkling under the sun, dotted with islands of all shapes and sizes. We can see the bridges that connect Shikoku to the mainland, engineering marvels that stand as symbols of human ingenuity. The Takamatsu Symbol Tower is more than just an observation deck. It's a symbol of Takamatsu's progress, its ambition and its connection to the world. It's a place where visitors can appreciate the city's past, present and future, all within a single, breathtaking panorama. As we descend from the tower, we carry with us a sense of awe at the city's transformation and the boundless possibilities that lie ahead for this vibrant metropolis. From the heights of the Takamatsu Symbol Tower, we descend into the tranquility of Tamamo Park, a verdant oasis in the heart of the city. As we enter the park, the sounds of the city fade away, replaced by the gentle rustling of leaves, the melodic chirping of birds and the soothing sound of flowing water. Tamamo Park is a place where locals and visitors alike come to escape the hustle and bustle of city life, to relax, to reconnect with nature and to enjoy the simple pleasures of life. We stroll along winding paths shaded by ancient trees, their branches forming a canopy overhead, filtering the sunlight and creating a sense of peace and seclusion. We come across tranquil ponds, their surfaces like mirrors, reflecting the azure sky and the vibrant colors of the surrounding foliage. Koi carp, their scales shimmering like jewels, glide effortlessly beneath the water's surface, their graceful movements a mesmerizing dance. Tamamo Park is also home to several cultural attractions, including the Takamatsu Museum of Art, which houses a diverse collection of Japanese and Western art, and the Prefectural Sports Park, a hub for sports and recreation. Whether one seeks cultural enrichment or simply a peaceful escape from the city's energy, Tamamo Park offers something for everyone. We take a moment to sit on a bench beneath the shade of a sprawling cherry tree, its branches laden with delicate pink blossoms. The air is filled with the sweet scent of the blossoms, a sensory delight that soothes the soul. As we leave Tamamo Park, we carry with us a sense of tranquility and rejuvenation, our spirits lifted by the beauty of nature and the park's peaceful ambience. As we come to the end of our journey through the hidden gems of Okayama and Takamatsu, I want to leave you with a few insider tips to enhance your own adventure in these captivating cities. First, embrace the local transportation. Japan's rail system is renowned for its efficiency and cleanliness. The Shinkansen or bullet train can whisk you between cities in comfort and style. For exploring the islands of the Seto Inland Sea, ferries offer a scenic and relaxing way to hop between destinations. Second, delve into the world of Japanese cuisine beyond sushi and ramen. Okayama is famous for its succulent peaches, while Takamatsu is a haven for seafood lovers. Be adventurous and try local specialties like Okayama's barazushi, a colorful dish of vinegared rice topped with various ingredients, or Takamatsu's sanuki udon, thick wheat flour noodles served in a variety of broths and toppings. Third, immerse yourself in the local culture. Pay a visit to a traditional onsen, 
or hot spring and experience the rejuvenating power of these mineral rich waters. Attend a local festival and witness the vibrant traditions that are still celebrated today. Engage with the locals, even if it's just a friendly greeting or a simple arigato, thank you. You'll find the Japanese people to be incredibly welcoming and helpful. Finally, allow yourself to get lost in the beauty of Japan's natural landscapes. From the tranquil gardens of Okayama to the dramatic coastline of the Seto Inland Sea, there's a world of natural wonders waiting to be discovered. Armed with these tips and a spirit of adventure, your journey through Okayama and Takamatsu is sure to be filled with unforgettable experiences. As the sun sets over the Seto Inland Sea, casting a warm glow on the ancient castles and tranquil gardens, we bid farewell to Okayama and Takamatsu, two cities that have captured our hearts with their unique blend of history, culture and natural beauty. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Okayama and Takamatsu. Don't forget to like, subscribe and explore these hidden treasures for yourself. Remember, the true essence of travel lies in venturing beyond the familiar, in uncovering the hidden gems that lie off the beaten path. So embrace the spirit of adventure, pack your bags and let Japan's secret cities surprise and delight you.